What's happening, HD Nation? Zach Edwards here from uh, Historical Conquest with another Stump the Creator. That's right, you're going to be asking me questions. I'm going to try to answer them. If you stump me, you get a prize. That's right. And this is about the game that I created, Historical Conquest. So thanks so much for joining us. This Today we're going to be talking about this guy right here. Yeah, this guy right here, Jesse James. So Jesse James, um, not going to tell you the history of it. That's for you guys to find out. But what I will do is I'll answer this question that was asked about him. Now, it's not actually the first question, it's the third question. And this is another one from Connor. This is questions number four, five, and six from his letter. Now, these ones I know I already answered because they're really hard questions to not remember, to, to forget. So I'm gonna ask these. Um, Connor, they don't have anything to do with the game. They're not gonna be answered in, in the future. But he actually did write, if I stab my opponent in the eye with a pencil, do I go to prison? Yes, you do. No question. Uh, yeah, Connor, not a good question. Um, and hopefully that's not going through your head. So I know people are annoying, but, uh, and I totally understand. I mean, I play with uh, kids all around the world, or all around the United States, and sometimes it does get annoying but you gotta be the better man. You gotta own up on to that. No one controls your actions, you do. Okay, going on to question number five. If I play an interrupt with hold on it, can the ability be used in the future? Well, if it's a hold, then yes, you can use it in the future. The interrupt, yes, you can hold on to that interrupt for the future as well. The problem is that someone else knows that you have that. Now, if it, it's a interrupt instant, you cannot. If it's an interrupt constant, you can. Uh, so yes, if it's a hold, you can use the abilities in the future. Now for the third question, number six. If I use Jesse James 2.0, but my opponent has invention of gunpowder, which gives you 800 uh, strength points in play, does it block Jesse? I didn't think, no, is that 2.0 that has that? Let me find out. He said specifically gunpowder 1.0. So let's see. Gunpowder. Okay, here we go. Uh, first find it. Oh, shoot. Of course, uh, gunpowder was given off to someone. From my private stash. Why do I even do that? I don't know. Being too nice to people. I need to stop giving out my cards. Okay, so let's go here. Don't worry, I have all these in my database. Uh, gunpowder. And then we'll look up Jesse James while that's looking for it, because of course computers are slow. So Jesse James, outlaw. Now I didn't actually say 1.0 or 2.0, and he's not in the 1.0, so let's go to 2.0. Jesse James. Go back to outlaws, 2.0, Jesse James. Jesse James says, interrupt. Jesse attacks your opponent and sends one of their characters of your choice with defense less than 100 to the discard. Now, coming here to the invention of gunpowder, hopefully this is the right one. I can't see because it's small. Let me see, U, extra large. Nope, that's not 1.0. This one's, okay. Uh, increase your civilization strength by 700. Connor, are you answer, or are you sending this right? If I use Jesse James 2.0, which again, uh, interrupt Jesse attacks your opponent and sends one of the characters of your choice to the def uh, defense less than 100 to the discard. But my opponent has invention of gunpowder in play. Does it block Jesse? Note, gunpowder increases civilization's defense by 700. So it's, if I use Jesse James, tax your opponent and sends one of your characters of your choice of defense less than 100 to the discard. Okay. Is it saying because you attacked Jesse James only against something else? I don't understand, uh, Connor. So you might want to send this again. Yes, it doesn't. Your gunpowder does increase the civilization's defense by 700 points, but how would that stop Jesse James? Because he's an interrupt, and 
Jesse attacks your opponent and sends one of their characters of your choice um, less than 100. Oh, because they're less than 100 defense. No, it's not an attack. It's not a land to land attack. Um, Gunpowder and things like the civilization do add that kind of attack. So people that have under, it's not an individual thing. This is for your whole land. Gunpowder helps your whole land. So it's like if Jesse James went into a duel with uh, Albert Einstein, who had less than, it doesn't matter if Albert Einstein had gunpowder in his civilization, Jesse James is attacking him as an individual, um, not as land to land. So uh, gunpowder does not apply. So thanks so much, Connor, for sending me those questions, and we will catch you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye. If you have any comments or questions, add them to the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you next, uh, we'll see you tomorrow, actually. Take care. Bye.